I am the worst about going out thrifting and, or looking on Facebook Marketplace and finding something that I absolutely love, but I don't have any clear plan about how it's gonna fit in any of my rooms at all. And this is pretty much how I've operated when I have gone thrifting for years now. I've never really done anything with a plan, so I thought I would give it a try this time. What if I went on Facebook Marketplace with sort of an idea in mind of how I wanted a room to look and looked for things that could fit into that plan? So that's what I did. I went shopping on Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for sort of a formal French living room look. And then I also went and looked for more of a Swedish room look. I've got one French room to show you that I put together from Facebook Marketplace finds. And I've got two more Swedish country looking rooms. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I didn't restrict my search to my geographic area. I think that would have been a lot harder if I had limited myself just to the state of Kentucky. So my things come from other states as well. How That being said, I do think that if I waited patiently long enough for something to show up somewhere where I could easily drive and pick it up, I think that it would. None of this stuff is so impossible to find that I couldn't have found it locally given enough time or local-ish, let's say. Maybe not super convenient, but um, not impossible either because once you start looking at shipping, I feel like the the price usually it just makes it almost so it's not worth it in my opinion i mean sometimes yes but again i am a total cheapskate it was just kind of an experiment to see what i could do if i was using facebook marketplace more intentionally and i thought i would share it with you to give you some inspiration for your search on facebook marketplace too so without further ado let's get into looking at the rooms here we go <laughs> like the more formal sort of French country room and I found these really pretty wingback chairs. I love the upholstery on them. They're so pretty. They were 300 for the pair which is a really good price I think considering how good condition they are in especially the fabric. I think you find often a lot of chairs where they just need to be reupholstered and they might be cheaper, but upholstery or even slip covering is such a ball of wax that you might not necessarily want to get into. Then these other chairs, the listing is down, so I guess they got sold, but I thought they were really pretty and would work for French style or Swedish style. I loved, again, gorgeous upholstery. There were two of them for $300. Not bad for a beautifully painted and upholstered chair. And then there was this English roll arm sofa. They wanted $350 for that. I love it. It's a really good quality one. I That is my favorite arm for a sofa ever. It's a classic and also it has those wooden legs that are beautiful as well. And then there was this Ushak rug that I thought the colors, at least from you know the phone, it looked like it coordinated really well with the chairs and the couch I picked out. And then there was this Louis XIV writing desk reproduction that I thought looked really great and added that certain je ne sais quoi. That you could put that behind the sofa as a sofa table maybe, I was thinking. And then I found these beautiful custom sort of mushroom colored silk drapes. And there were four panels for $160. That brings the total for the room to $1,545. I tried a Swedish country style room, so I was looking for plaids and checks and stripes. I started with this Swedish bench that they wanted $350 for. I thought it was a perfect classic bench. And then I also picked out these plaid club chairs for $200 for both of them. I put it with this floral chair that I also really like. Now, I don't know in real life how great it would have looked, but I liked it and they wanted just $100 for that chair. I chose this marble top table to be like a taller tea table instead of a coffee table for all the chairs and the bench. And that was $100 as well. I chose this striped rug, flat weave rug to go underneath everything. It was $250 and I thought it looked great with the grays and the pinks. 
And then finally, I chose this crystal chandelier and the listing is down for it, but I think it was $75 at the time. And the total for all that stuff in the room was $1,075. This is my second Swedish country room. I use the same bench and the same French chairs and the same table and rug and chandelier. I just changed out the chair. I added this black lacquer chair with a cane bottom and also this cool half moon table that was really pretty and painted in the back. And the total for that room was $1,275. I hope this inspired you to plan rooms yourself with secondhand finds. I was really inspired. I've actually never done this much planning before and I was amazed by how much is out there and I'm really excited to keep looking. I linked everything below in case there was something you were interested in seeing for yourself on Facebook. Some of the listings have already been sold and they're taken down, but everything that's still there, I did my best to link it below. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.